What's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing well today. Yes, sir. Going down this little staircase. Welcome to Jones Bridge Park. Look at these turn of the century 1900s bridge artifacts. But there's a problem here. The bridge is missing. I'm very disappointed. I just now noticed that. The original 1900s bridge that used to be there. I used to come here a lot with my DSLR in the fall and other seasons. I might put up some videos for you. You'll see what the old bridge used to look like. But it collapsed back in January. It did. The old bridge collapsed. And I just noticed that the Corps of Engineers, Gwinnett County, or I think that's Fulton on the other side. Yeah. Because that's the Country Club of the South on that side, so I think that's Fulton. Yeah. Alpharetta on that side of the river. But I'm very sad right now because they took away a masterpiece. A relic of our own existence. Yeah, look at that image. Yeah, it spanned probably almost halfway across the river. Hey, look, there's a doe. <laughs> Cute. Awesome. Yeah, but the bridge is gone. It was humongous. Oh, you better believe people came out here and took pictures and video of them taking it away. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. The bridge is gone. Man. Why would they do such a thing? I know what they're going to say for safety purposes because half of what was left collapsed back in January of this year and that was a sight to behold in itself a bunch of twisted iron collapsed in the river and it was creating a backup yeah so I bet that's why they took it away but I'm just gonna make this little quick little video I want to run around this place real quick I haven't been out here in a while Yeah, oh, look at all the garbage we're gonna have to pick up later. Man. It's not too late, it's about three o'clock. It is. But the sun's getting really low in the sky. It's equivalent to an early mid-March, early April day. Because the first day of fall is like a week from now. Let's keep going. We have a long way to go. Because I want to go pay a visit to a special tree out here. That not a lot of people know about. I don't know if it's 300 years old or more. Maybe less. I don't know. It's a big oak tree out here. About a mile and a half from here. Yeah. Yeah, this is that park that I cleaned up like three years ago. Came out here. With a... Uh, I came out here with a bunch of uh, those Home Depot industrial garbage bags. And I spent three days cleaning this place up. Hope you like my Chattahoochee River videos. I know they're not much. It's not like I'm skipping grenades across the water. <laughs> well, I'm not doing jackass style videos. Which I want to, I do. You know how I am. Yeah, let's go to the edge right here. Hmm. Yeah, it's not going to be the same now that the bridge is gone. It's not. It's never going to be the same. But that's the decision of the government. It is. Look at that image. Man, sometimes the sun does not have to be behind you to make an image just right, you know? Just taking reference pictures. Got to get it just right. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, but that's where the bridge was. Right there. Right there in that zone. Right there in the picture. Man. And I usually try to come out here and cup it. Use the outline 
of the bottom of the branches here to outline the bridge, you know? I did. But it's a phantom now. Check out this little pipe. Yeah, I tried to cross it a few times. I only get to that point though. <laughs> because, you know, if I slip and fall, I'll be screaming like a little girl. You know how that goes, guys. You know how exactly how that goes. People do it though. But I'm wearing sneakers that are so worn down. The soles are so worn down that I'm gonna slip. Look, you gotta be perfectly balanced. Like a gymnast, which I'm not. <laughs> I can only get to there. That's about it. Because I know I'm gonna fall. Let's go to the bigger one. Yeah. Man, look at that image. This is what I call one of my limited parks where I just come here, you know, and chill for a while and then I leave. That looks nice, it does. That's why I come out here and just chill. Here's the bigger one, the big brother, yeah. Built back in the late 50s. Look, you can just go across real quick. Man, look at that. There's garbage all over the place out here and it's sad. It is. Because there's something you don't realize. What is that? What is that you don't realize? Because it takes a special soul, a special mind, a special idea, a special understanding. In all of us to help you see the light and realize that this is heaven on earth that's why I come out and do this all the time something forced me to come out here all the time you just have to be shown the light to help you realize that there is heaven on earth and you can experience heaven on earth but you're erasing it you are with your littering and all everything your developments. Man, look at that. Heaven on earth. You gotta understand different scales. Foreground, background, everything. The gradient of the glow, it's like moonlight. Backwards and forwards. It could be moonlight. It could. You just have to think backwards. Think about the cities of old where everything was kept in as a tight, close-knit development where urban sprawl really doesn't exist because they know how to keep nature and heaven on earth alive. Like Venice, perhaps. or other places like Florence. All these European cities. Everything is a close-knit community. All you do is build up. That's all you have to do. To reach heaven in a different way. To be in the clouds, to help you see heaven in a different way. Nature is heaven. Heaven on earth. Earth is heaven. I told you, there is many planets just like ours out there, many. It might look different, but it's the same concept. The same exact concept. So all you have to do is just understand that you go out to places like this to find heaven on earth. But it's not me that had the knowledge, they gave it to me. They've been dragging me out like this to understand the truth of everything. And I found the truth. And I keep coming out to be part of it. Part of heaven on earth. Part of heaven. Man, look at that. But you're not going to believe that concept. You're not. You never will. Because you don't see it.
But when you combine everything in your soul, your heart, your soul, your emotions, you find that heaven on earth. You will. All you have to do is just think about scale, think about everything, and lay down or sit down just one time and say to yourself, this is heaven. And then you'll start to see the face of God. Not hallucination, not hallucinating, no. You'll learn how to see it. I'll teach you how to see it. And in a way, you will become free. You will. And every time you go out to places like this, you will be in heaven. You will. I promise you that. But you'll say, what if I get stung by a bee? What if something burns me? What if something happens? Your developments. That came from some warehouse, probably up in Brazelton or something, taken up probably a few hundred acres of landscape far out where heaven on earth did take up that space as it does this. And they bought it. They trashed it out here. And somebody like me comes by who understands that this is heaven on earth. And you look down and you see it. The feeling of heaven on earth gets taken away. That's why I told you about that garbage, the meaning of the garbage. The meaning of the things that you see constantly out in nature. The paint cans, the alcoholic beverages, the bleach containers, the energy drinks. It's always for major, major components. That tells you two different sides of the spectrum of why you th always throw out those kind of containers. Hey guys, the geese out there, look at them, heaven on earth. Every living thing has a purpose. You know that, don't you? I pray that you know that. Man, they've been out here big time. I'm talking about the Corps of Engineers coming out here, chopping up these uh, down trees. They really cleaned up this place. They did. That's why the banks look kind of, kind of clean. Not that they pick up the garbage or anything like that. They, they cut the trees for safety. That's a nice looking image. But you're not going to understand what I'm talking about. You're not. You were never in search for heaven on earth, are you? Never have been. But there's reason for everything. There is. The water bottles they throw out, the, the combination of all the garbage. I already told you about that in a different video, exploring through the woods. As I was trying to explain or experience heaven on earth, deep out in the woods. But everything is for a reason. Yeah, why the alcohol containers? Like the bleach containers, why is it always bleach? Why is it always bleach bottles? Why? to show you the light of stuff you're doing wrong. Bleach wipes out color. Bleach wipes out things in your clothes, the stains. But you throw it out here. And God tries to use it to teach you a story, tell you a story. To explain to you that you're wiping away heaven on earth. But on the opposite side of the spectrum, he's trying to teach you that you have to come back out and wipe it clean to clean up the garbage, to reinstate and restore heaven on earth. Just like the paint cans that we always see out in nature, everywhere. Paint cans from the 30s, the 40s, the 70s, the 90s, the 2000s. Always paint cans. Cover the earth. Cover the earth with your developments and then trash your paint cans out here. 
to cover heaven on earth up with the paint, the paint cans. Everything is a code. Everything is a riddle. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Am I gonna to have to come out here with another thousand garbage bags? Oh man, what a mess. Alcohol, energy, and water. It's always water and energy drinks too because that's going to tell you that you're going to have to increase your energy and your levels of concentration just to come out here and clean up everything. Yeah, but you don't understand all that. You don't. You don't. You don't understand the concept of heaven on earth. You never will. You want heaven to be this real magical place. This is a very magical place. It is. But you want it to be something imaginary. You were taught that, weren't you? Once you understand the truth, you'll be troubled. Once you find the truth, you won't understand it. Imagine heaven on earth, planet earth, without humans. Imagine that. Will it be just like this? You better believe it will. Nature is always going to go on, no matter what happens to us. But now is the time to go backwards. Because you've gone forwards too much. And you're wiping it out. Man versus nature, like the Battle of Angiari, the real representation of the painting. You're wiping out heaven on earth. But every animal, every insect is supposed to be here. They are, it's their job. Everything that they do, every spider, every insect, animal, mammal, fish, whatever it may be, has a purpose on this planet to maintain heaven on earth. When the bees pollinate the plants, when the winds of time carry seeds from one part of the land to the other, when things grow and thrive, to maintain heaven on earth, that's their job. Every ant, every fly, Everything has a job to maintain and help heaven on earth stay alive. And we take and we wipe it out. You gotta step back to look at a bigger picture of things. You do. You never will. Because we're seen as a threat. We are. The human race is seen as a threat. That's why you get attacked, you get stung. Because we're the most different natural being on this planet compared to everything else. We are. We're more different than everything else out here. We are nature though, we are. But you have to be one as nature, one with nature, like the natives knew. You have to cherish it, be a part of it the right way, not the wrong way. And you took it backwards. But it wasn't all your fault. You're blinded from it. You're blinded from it with your technologies, your iPhones. Everything that you develop these days blinds you from the truth. Shields you from the truth. To seduce you. Using other things. So you never see the light. You know everybody who has gone before. Everybody who died before. They're still here. God tries to show you the light. You should understand this from the beginning. A new kind of teaching. For the new human race coming up. You do not have to delete. Part of the story. But you added on to it instead. 
making it seem like heaven on earth is so far out there that you can't get to it unless you're perfect. But yeah, everything that happens happens for a reason, on purpose. Everything has a job, a duty, a goal. You don't care about that right now. You only got 20 years to live, you're going to say. You only have 60. You're 20 years old. You want to live it up. You want to have sex. You want to drive those fancy cars. You want to live in a nice big house, in a big subdivision. Poor trees came down. I think this is the one I looked at many months ago and said to myself, it doesn't have too much longer before it gets pulled down. I guess I was right. Man. This, I bet they had some heavy winds out here. Yeah. But there's another problem right there. You don't see it. A big office complex in the middle of the woods out there. Nice architecture. They should have kept it somewhere. They should have developed it someplace else in town. An increased architectural significance of the area in downtown Atlanta or something. Maybe in Buckhead. But instead they decided back in the early 80s to come out here and wipe out a few hundred acres of heaven on earth. And put some gigantic business complex out here that's been empty for a couple of years now, since they're trying to sell it. Wasting land, wasting money. And now it comes down to it, to the fact that you destroyed heaven on earth in this area. And now your complex is empty for about three years now. Look at that golf course over there. Is that heaven on earth? Are those guys out there hitting those little white balls around? Are they going to say to themselves, man, this is like heaven out here. Look at those clouds. They're right if they say that. But you have to feel it within your soul. You just can't say it. Is that BJ Singh over there? Looks just like him. Could be. Is it BJ Singh or is it, man, look at this crap. Ah, boy. Yeah, welcome to heaven on earth. Yeah. Well, let's go up here and say hi to this maybe 250 year old oak tree up here by another half a mile you'll be blown away by the size I had to do a proportion test on it one time where I had to shoot a video with me standing in front of it yeah it's that kind of tree <laughs> man look at the yellow leaves coming from these uh, pecan trees out here heaven on earth I just need the sun to come out right now to illuminate these uh, these trees. Let's wait for that, because you know it's coming. Let's wait for the sun to come back out from behind a cloud. As the cloud moves away, and we'll walk through this heaven on earth. You might see the face of God. Well, I'll see him. I'll see them. Both of them. I know I'll scare you in my videos. I know I do. Here we come. Yeah, it's about to be exposed. There we go. Almost there. Yeah, we're almost to that tree, don't you worry. There we go. Yeah. 
That's better. God is always trying to push you to find them. Find them. Find their face. Get to know them. Find them and find heaven on earth. They're always trying to push you. That's why you get these feelings deep inside of your soul, your heart, your emotions. Because they're trying to guide you to find them. Find it. Find them. But why do you always feel different come October, especially late October? Depends on where you are, right? Yeah. Why? Because everything starts to fall. And then something tries to get a hold of you because they know in a little bit of time heaven on earth doesn't seem to exist because everything's so bare. Everything's so dark. Everything's so gloomy. The face of God can almost never be seen at that time. There's always a reason for everything. Why some hardwoods don't lose their foliage in the winter time. And why some other try some others try to stand tall and keep the green alive. Why? So in a way you can still go out there and try to find the face of God and still find heaven on earth. Even in the coldest weather. We're walking to the Garden of Eden. We are. I'm glad they don't come out here and just wipe this stuff out. But I know what you're going to say. Da Vinci, you're definitely not going to be glad when some bumblebee stings you to death and you swell up like the Mistler Man. <laughs> but I'm being protected. I am. Because I'm supposed to be teaching you all this stuff again. Look at this, he's blocking the way. Yeah. We'll just go around him. Wow, this is new. I guess they're supposed to experience heaven on earth right here. Their hangout spot. That's good. And they got a swing out here too? Yeah, this is new. I guess the people from this neighborhood out here, they put it out here. That's cool. I think I'm a little bit too old. Not old, but too big to get on that little swing. I might take that tree down. <laughs> Man. But see, God, God, and Yeshua, and Mother Mary, and all your protectors, they know the truth. They do. They all know the truth. Oh yeah, we've had some good times out here. All this stuff is brand new. I like that. I do. You can go to your backyard and lie down. Do what I do. Get a little lawn chair and go to a little location and just sit under a canopy of trees. Look at the clouds go by. And say to yourself, this is heaven. Oh, you're looking at the tree, by the way. Absolutely humongous, beautiful oak tree. Probably, I want it to be around at least 200. It's got a nice spread up there. Probably around 120 feet, maybe. But her branches are humongous. We'll go over there in a minute. I want to make sure I can make it over there. I just want to stay in the light. It's perfect. Let's go to this tree. I just want to make sure I can get down here though. Because I'm not my creek walking shoes and I'm going to be slipping and sliding in that right there. I don't want to end up sinking like three feet down. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. 
And I have two Budweiser's waiting in the vehicle for me. Yeah. Man, I want to take you around to the other side of the park so you can see the bedrock, but there's no bridge. I'll show you that. Oops. Yeah. There's no bridge. They took it away. And I have a hole in the tip of my shoe right here. I do. I wore these things out through my adventures going through rocks and stuff. Man, just love this humongous tree. Absolutely humongous. Come by to say hi quite a bit every time. I don't know, 200, 250, 350? Probably not quite. But that trunk right there, man. I just get blown away by searching for stuff like this all the time. That's why I go out when I go be a part of uh, Heaven on Earth. I just touched for a little while. I know you're going to think I'm way over the top. I am. I admit that. Oops, there's a spot away there. Man, humongous. Takes up the entire screen. I don't know. I know how to measure it. I don't have a tape measure out here. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and turn back around. Maybe that place is cleared out. I want to see if my money's still there that I hid for other people to find. Hid it in plain sight. I hid all my money in plain sight. All my secrets in plain sight for you to search for, like in the paintings. Yeah, but I hid all the money in plain sight. I want to see if it's still there. Let's go try to see. In a way, I hope it's not, because that means that somebody had enough curiosity to look at things Da Vinci style, and they found a couple of dollars in coins. But if it's still there, that's a problem. That means that you don't have enough curiosity to look at things a different way, which I try to teach you to understand the truth about a lot of things. But I hope you enjoy this little video. I know I'm kind of depressed that the that the bridge is gone. They need to email Da Vinci. Say we got some metal for you. We want to see something extraordinary at the park to help keep the history alive. And hope that that steel didn't just end up at the recycling plant to be erased. Yeah, let's get over there. I want to see if those people are gone and look for my money because you know I'm gonna be looking kind of crazy walking around looking at things real strange <laughs> trying to find my hidden treasure my collection yeah you better believe I'll make a gigantic sculpture out of this I already have about 460 of these things yeah da Vinci style check this out well yeah that too <laughs> that image with the contrast yeah that's cool the sun's coming out yeah, but look at that blue thing in there. You already know what that is. No, you don't know. I'm trying to teach you that. What I tell you I always come across? Many times out in the woods. Yeah, it's one of those metallic looking party balloons. Yeah, the heavy duty ones, you know. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a walk around the main part. I want to see if those people are gone so I don't get judged out of this. Yeah, I just try to relax before I, I start work. I don't have my creek walking shoes here. I don't. There's girls screaming behind us. That's cool because there's puppies over there. There's pit bull puppies behind me. They're so cute. 
Look at that image. I want this fence to be leveled in the corner right here. That's cool. Let's go look for my money. Hey, there's a good place to hide a quarter. Let me see, right here. You gotta get it just right. Da Vinci style. Hold on one second. Let me get out a quarter. I got two dollars and quarters on me. That's not really hiding it though. That's not. Dang, it's not gonna go under there. To draw people's curiosities. Once somebody sees something out in the open, you know, like the Da Vinci Code, it draws you to think, what if there's more? You better believe there's more. Let's go try to find to see if somebody found my treasures. Ah, uh, here, man. You know this beech tree is about maybe 120, 130 years old, maybe more. I want to see a carving from 1935. It's too messed up. They killed it. Just don't put your college emblems on there. <laughs> Georgia Bulldogs, number one, 1983. Yeah, man, beautiful. I love this beech tree, I do. Don't kill them, don't carve them up. You crazy butts. But there's a lot of cars out here. There is, because it's a beautiful day. See, that's what the bridge used to look like. Before it collapsed. It collapsed about this point right here. And then everything else came into the waters of eternity. And then they wiped it all out. You better believe I have at least 100 pictures of this boat. I mean this, uh, I'm thinking about boat because I want to get my kayak out. But there's nothing to see anymore. Yeah, they took it away from us. There we go. Look at that. Nineteen oh four. Yeah. I, I said nineteen oh nine. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. But look at this. Mm. Man. I love coming out here. I'm taking a reference picture. Hold on, let me get that beam out of the way. I need two people sitting right here. Hopefully not smoking a cigarette. That would have been a 1973 picture if it was. But yeah, where did I hide my money? I know where I hid some of my money, but I'm looking for so many other parts. Because some areas I can't remember. You know, you might as well go to Florence and start looking in the cracks of the buildings. Especially old churches. You might find some gold coins, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I know I look crazy looking at, looking at a wall, don't I? That's why I have to play it off, like I always did. You know, when I leave my studio space. And people just see me. Standing on the side looking around And I just stand behind a wall like this. Why do I do such a thing? You already know why But that doesn't give you permission that doesn't give you permission You just have to play it off like me I'm not going to hide the next, the next one I don't know. People are watching me. Let me play it off. Let me do some sketches right quick of this human race while I sit next to this wall. And find a place to hide something. Yeah, let's put one here. So somebody who sits down says, maybe there's more. Let's think the venture style. You're going to see where I hid money, if it's still here, I don't know. I already know where I hid money. If it's still in all those other areas, I'm going to be mad as you know what. Because no one has the idea that I have. Here's a place right here. Oh yeah, it's still here too. Nine months ago, how pathetic. It's still here. You don't see Jack D. Let's hide some more. Maybe you might like to find it. 
Yeah, I'm just doing construction inspections. That's all I'm doing. I hit one in here too. Oh, that one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. Let's put another one. So when someone turns on the light, they see the light. Dang right they see the light when they turn that switch on. <laughs> Man, yeah. Well, I know where else I hit another one. I know all over this park. I know I did. Because I love park space. I hit one under here. See if I can get it. Yeah, it's still in there. It's still in there. It's still in there. It's a quarter. Right here, right here, right here. Alright, so if you see this video, you know what I think about recycling. You stick your hand in there the right way, it's going to fall in. It's a quarter. It's gorgeous out here. Let me go see the site plan right quick. Let's go take a look at this beautiful side plane right quick. This, uh, yeah. They did, they did it just right too. Look at that. They did it Da Vinci style. They even got the shadowing on the top of the roof here. The lines, yeah. They got the hatching just right. They even did the cars Da Vinci style. Yeah, I'll show you my drawings later. My school drawings, yeah, the jack of all trades. Man, I'm proud of these guys. They did it my style. It's a little bit off. I mean, I'm not talking about off in a better way. I mean, it's not perfect. That's what I mean. That's what makes it perfect. Because it's not perfect. <laughs> hey, but check it out. Look. look, you know I study everything. You know I look at everything. You see something that doesn't match? What well, doesn't match? Look, you'll never notice it. But I do. Look at the cars. And look at something else. It's a game. The kayaks are almost twice the size of the cars. <laughs> but they did it right. I'm not making fun of them. I'm not. It's hand drawn. My style. You know, if you look at the picture just right, I could be anywhere in the world because it's heaven on earth. It's supposed to teach you about the fact about scale. You could be anywhere in the world. You don't always have to have palm trees. You don't. You don't always have to have mimosa trees. All you need is the sun and light and nature. And you could be anywhere in the world. But the most important concept is It is heaven on earth. It is heaven. I might find something if I have enough curiosity. Something looks strange in that wall over there. It's giving off a round shadow because of the star of life is, you know, creating some kind of angle. Let's go see what it is. It's a dang quarter. If someone hits something here, they're going to hide it someplace else. You better believe Da Vinci did. Man, look at that image. That's what I like about this time of year. The sun is equivalent to early March. Early to mid-March, maybe early April. And the sun is not really so high up in the air. That you get this different transition.
I don't know, I still have like five quarters to hide around this place. Oops, I dropped it. Come on, there's a band-aid. How's it going? Yeah, I'm pretty good, thanks. Yeah. Trying to get that quarter in there. Yeah. You're going to have to work out to get it out of there. But you're going to see it. Perfect. Look at that. You better believe I have about 20 pictures out of here. Let's take a look. All right, this one's gone. This one's gone. Someone found this one. I put one right here. Right here. Let's put another one. All you gotta do is look. That's all you have to do. Then pull back the sign. It'll fall out. Real simple. Yeah, this is great out here. I love coming out here. When the sun is just right. I think I took that picture about 12 years ago at the same spot. Welcome to Jonesbridge Park. It sounds like the beginning of the movie, not the end of it. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you do. <sighs> Heaven on earth. That's all you have to say. Taking that reference picture of the sun's in the right spot. I'm gonna have such a hard time when I come out here and clean this mess up. Look at this. 13 feet away to an empty garbage can. Man, hope you enjoy this little video. I know it's not much. <laughs>